So hello everyone, welcome to another Warframe video, and as you may or may not know, the Christmas update added a new console into the personal quarters of our Orbiter called the Soma Chord. Now what the Soma Chord does is it allows you to play different tunes on your Orbiter, however you have to collect the tunes first. So when you first open the Soma Chord, it will probably look like this. All the songs will have a little lock on them and they will just let you know where the tune comes from. There are 24 tunes in total, 3 come from The Void, 3 from Uranus, 2 from Lua, 2 from Kuva Fortress, and the rest is split 1 per planet. Now each song is split into 4 different fragments that you will have to scan on their respective planets to finish the song. This is what the fragments look like. So if you want to gather some of these fragments and finish the songs to then play on your Orbiter, you will have to equip yourself with a Codex Scanner, and both a regular Codex Scanner and the Simarisis Synthesis Scanner will work. I would also highly recommend you get yourself some sort of loot radar, I was personally using Thieves Wit and Animal Instincts for 72 meters of loot radar which seemed to be just fine, and this will make finding the fragments much easier, because they are marked the same way that Cephalon fragments are on the minimap, which makes an awful lot of sense because of how they work. Whenever you load into a mission there is about a 50% chance that the Cephalon fragment will be replaced by one of the Soma Chord ones, and it unfortunately works like that even if you've already collected all the Cephalon fragments on that planet. Now you're not really meant to grind these in one go because there's 24 songs with 4 fragments each so there's 96 fragments with a 50% chance to spawn in a mission so you're looking at roughly 200 missions to get all the songs. You're just meant to passively gather these as you play missions. However since I wanted to make this video I did it all in one day and it took about 10-ish hours. And the reason I did that is because well first of all I wanted all the songs myself but I also wanted to show you how this works in a video and give you a short preview of each song because you cannot listen to the songs before you finish them so I wanted to make a video where I will give you a short let's just say one minute preview of each song so you can listen to all the songs, pick one maybe two that you really like, farm those and get the rest passively like a normal person. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a short introduction for each song, I'm gonna let you know what the song is called and where you get it and I'm then gonna play a one minute clip of each song. And since YouTube doesn't allow annotations anymore, I'm gonna put the timestamps for all the songs in the description so you can just skip through them. So the first song in the Soma Chord is called Arcwing and this one comes from Neptune. The second song is called Consumas and you can scan the fragments for this one on Mars. Next up is a song called Corpus Greed and you can get this one from Venus.
Next song on the list is called Corrupted and you get this one unsurprisingly from The Void. Next up we have the data legs, which you get from the Orokin data leg. This one is kind of the most expensive one because you have to build the keys first. Following the derelicts, we have a song called Gene Molds, and this one comes from Earth. The reason why you see the Uranus tile set here is because I farmed this one in the Mariana map. Next up we have the Ghosts of the Void and this one just like the Corrupted Tune comes from the Void. Next up comes the first of the Uranus tombs, and I think this one's gonna be a favorite amongst many. It's called Gracata. Damn, I feel like a radio host over here.
Following the Drakata, we have a song called Grinier Onslaught, which comes from Sedna. Coming up next on Radio MC, we have the second of the Uranus tunes, and how. Now, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but if there are two or more songs on a planet and you start scanning the fragments, it won't give you random fragments from all three songs. You will finish the songs one by one. Next song on the menu is called March of the Moa and you get this one from Pluto. Following the march of the MOA, we have a song called Origin System and you get this one by scanning fragments on Europa. Moving on to the infested Redon ships orbiting Ares and their haunting melody, Our Disease.
Moving on to the moon, where you can get two different songs, and the first one is called Rapid Adaptation. Coming up next is the first of the two Kuva Fortress tunes, this one is called Red Broth and the ones on Kuva Fortress are by far the easiest ones to get because the Kuva Fortress was added after the Cephalon fragments so it only spawns the Soma Chord ones. And then comes the final of the Uranus tunes, which is called Sentient Tombs. And this is followed up by the third and final tune you can get from the Void called The Creeping Dark. Then comes the Jupiter tune, which is unsurprisingly called The Prophet.
Then comes the second song you can get on the moon called The Second Dream and this is sort of a stripped down version of This Is What You Are. Next song on the menu is the second song you can get from the Kuva Fortress and this one is called The Witch's Lair. Then comes my personal favorite which you can get by scanning fragment on series and it's a full version of this is what you are from the second dream. I think this one's gonna be very popular as well. And we are slowly nearing the end with Vor's Prize, which is the song you can get by scanning fragments on Mercury. The second to last song is called Wings of War and you get this one from Phobos.
And the final song in the Soma Chord is called Wretched Things and this one comes from Scanning Fragments on Saturn. So there you go, those are all the songs you can get for your Soma chord, so I hope you found it helpful. Now before I end the video, I just want to say a couple of things. So number one, this was great fun, I enjoyed it quite a bit, I enjoyed these sort of treasure hunty type collectibles. However, if you do this next time DE, please don't mix the fragments with other fragments and override their spawns. Because for someone like me, who has already gathered all the Cephalon fragments, it was kind of frustrating to run into bad streaks where I wouldn't get Soma Chord fragments for 20, maybe even 30 missions, which happened on Ares for me. I did like 20 or 30 missions, and all I was getting was Cephalon fragments, and that was really frustrating, and it almost made me quit. I think that even just knowing that you might not find what you're looking for in a treasure hunt 50% of the time makes this less fun than it could be. And I think it's gonna be a lot more fun for people that don't have all the Cephalon fragments yet. And second of all, I think it would be awesome if we could set one of the songs as our default orbiter music because, you know, listening to the music is all nice and dandy, but if you do a mission and come back, it won't play the song anymore. So I think it would be awesome if we could just set one of them as our default music. And that's pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for listening mostly this time around. I hope the video was helpful, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.